Good morning and hope you guys are having a great day. I am rocking the new Come and Take It shirt with the tropical AR on it. Get one right now and it automatically gets you entries to win that incredible 6x6 Jeep Gladiator. The ultimate win-win. You get a really cool shirt and you get entered to win a $140,000 truck or 80 grand in cash up to you. We also have a lot of new cool shirts on there that aren't this one. On the site it says 23 days but by the time this goes live it'll be like 21. And there is the uh, come and take it shirt, the tropical AR. Go back, we got this really cool one here. The top dad shirt, I like this one. Great for a dad at any time, but really cool for Father's Day. If you wanna get one for your dad, guaranteed to get there by Father's Day, um, order by the 11th. Hurricanes Heroes, stickers, key tags, all kinds of really awesome stuff on there for you. Of course, not everyone will agree because we all like different things, but I really feel like this might be the coolest vehicle we have ever given away. 2021 Jeep Gladiator, 10,000 pound super winch on it, rigid industry LED light bar, lift kit has Fox shocks, great quality stuff automatic running boards, a huge rock slider on there to protect the body, armadillo back rack, and if you want them, my jorts, my jean shorts, they can come with it. Like if you want me to throw them in, I can. Doesn't matter what you get, anything and everything counts to win the six by six, 21, about 21 days left. We are at the three week mark, boys. As always, we don't really restock on the website because the giveaway isn't long enough to restock. We don't want people waiting for weeks and weeks for their order. What you see on there is all we have. So don't wait to get entered, do so right now. Every five bucks spent gets you five entries. Good luck. What we're doing today, it should be a pretty fun vlog. Kind of weird if you don't live in Pennsylvania or a state with inspections. We have to get the Urus inspected. So she's had the car for over a year and you can see the inspection ran out in uh, February of this year. It's supposed to be uh, an emissions inspection and a safety inspection. So emissions to make sure like your car still has cats and you're not polluting the air and uh, safety to make sure like your tires are good and your brakes are good and, and, every, and your lights work and all that good stuff. So in theory, it's not a bad idea, but it's really kind of a cash grab. I mean, I feel like if you have a new car, maybe they give you like a five year grace period, but oh no, you have to do it every year and it does cost 150 bones and not only that but you can get pulled over if the cops drive by and they see that like your stickers are the wrong color and not the right date you can get pulled over for that we're taking the big yellow herb bus to whitmoyer and as for why we're taking it there um you can actually get an inspection done like at a pet boys or a lot of like little garages but i don't trust just anybody with that, like I would I would never drop off an Urus at Pep Boys. I'm sorry, I just, I wouldn't. Nearest Lambo dealer is about an hour and a half away, so I'm, I'm not doing that. And there are two new vehicles at Whitmoyer I want to look at. One is a Jeep and one is a Mustang. I think I know which one I'm getting, but I'm not sure. Ready? Oh yeah. Are you sure? Fire it up. All right. the Urus is. Freaking Subaru up here. Now we got an 18 wheeler. They are screwing me over. I'm trying to give you the burbles. The truck was just like, well, traffic isn't clear. I'll pull out anyway. This guy's driving in the middle of the road. I don't know what this guy's doing. Yeah, the truck's going to turn left and block yep. that person. What is going on? The <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't make this up. I gotta say, the Urus has been a great car. It's been wonderful, not a single issue. It's not like it gets driven hard. Like, not like Randy's Urus. That thing has been through hell. <laughs> um, many rallies. But it gets driven on a regular basis. When I drive it, I kind of maybe, or, you know, I may or may not floor it all the time. If you're looking for an Urus or an RSQ8 or like an Atlas Sport, anything on this platform from VW, I would say, is a great buy. Great looks and fantastic reliability for us so far. God, I love it. I love it, man. Sounds amazing. Thing is sweet. Let us 
us know if you want to see this on the channel more. We can make it happen. Urus in the service bay with a, a Mustang and two C8s. Good company. The Urus is going to get its inspection. I think she'll pass. And uh, let's go check out some, some cool cars. I want something fun for the channel that isn't a giveaway. Um, so I've got some, I got two ideas. I already told you one's a Jeep, one's a Mustang. I think I'm going Jeep, but my budget is 70 grand. They have this saline here and this is pretty freaking cool. So yellow, you know, I love the color. Honestly, that's like the main reason why I'm even looking at it. It's not just like, it's not just a few badges. Check this out. Let's show them the front. Oh boy. Let's show. You ready? Oh yeah. Woo! Oh <laughs> so we've got a supercharger. This car right here, 750 horsepower. Would be very cool. But I've got the ZR1, so this would be like, I feel like, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. This would be, I think, a great giveaway car, but not like a great car for me. I would love it, but it'd be a good giveaway. I think the Jeep is a better fit for me, for a vehicle that's not a giveaway. Go to saline supercharged badge on there, saline on the windshield, little saline panel. The back end is freaking sweet. There are a lot of companies out there that modify Mustangs, kind of like Corvette, you know, you have Callaway Corvette Mustang you have what you got Roush you have uh, Shelby but I always have really liked Saline I think the best because they made the Saline S7 which oh, is yeah. you know Bruce Almighty oh, whoa nice car man yeah it gets me from A to B oh yeah really cool that's where everyone knows that car from really nice company and I think they do a good job in it. Like this seems more special to me than a Roush car. I don't Absolutely. know why. I don't like no, it. I agree. Yeah. It's fired up. 35 fired years up. of winning. Oh, 35 years of winning. New wheel, saline logo, new gauges, saline on there, boost and vat gauge, uh, air temp gauge. Some race car stuff. I don't hate it. I gotta say, I don't hate it. I like it. It's very cool. But what would I, you know, the ZR1 is like my race car. What would I do with this? I think I should buy this one. Uh, <laughs> Heck yeah. An older gentleman in a uh, Mustang <laughs> GT said I should buy it, so. You have to now. I mean, if that ain't it, you know, I have to now, yeah. It's a sign from God himself. That's 3,400 really RPMs, by the way. I'm not like, that sounds really good. I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty cool car. It's gotta be fast. You think? Well, the, the new Mustangs aren't that heavy. I think they're like 3,600 pounds, 3,700. It's got 750 horsepower. Yeah. It's a lot. Sound, I mean, the sound really is amazing. The windows are up too. Wow. Not bad. You've got different modes here. Driving mode, sport, sport plus, track. That trans, though. That's, it's, no, that's, <laughs> that was really smooth. Wow. God, that is so loud for like a car that has cats and all, yeah. you know? Totally legal. a new car so I'm, I'm going to like 4500 that's literally 4500 though and it sounds that good not even 45 4500 the trans is so smooth it's impressive actually right it's like dual clutch it is it feels like it. you can't tell i gotta i gotta say honestly the trans is super impressive wow <laughs> like you can't even tell it, it's shifting no you don't feel it at that's all that's ridiculous Dang, you you new Mustang owners have had it good, huh? I didn't even realize how good y'all had it. I didn't see like it. I, you can't even tell it's that. Shifting. That is yeah, really crazy. That actually. trans is ridiculous, dude. I have never experienced anything like that. You literally cannot tell you're shifting. Ridiculous! My car is an actual dual clutch, and this is better. I, think. I, I like, dude. I, I might agree. I don't know. Maybe you guys would like to see a Mustang on the channel, but I really want the Jeep for off-roading. I want to build. I want to build a really epic off-road uh, rig. God dang, though, I don't mind this at all. Gonna restrain myself. We're not 
going to floor it. If I'm going to get a Mustang, I think I'll go and get like a base model GT and then twin turbo. I think that'd be sweet, really fun for the channel. I've wanted to do that for a long time. But this is awesome. Love the color. But uh, I think the Jeep is a better fit right now. But this is very, a very cool car and it, it is available. Got to be honest, I was really surprised by this car. I enjoy like I thoroughly enjoy driving it. And uh, if I don't get this though, it made me realize like, yeah, I do, um, like my idea to get a Mustang on the channel, I think it's a good idea. I think I need a new Mustang, a 10 speed. I gotta try it out. This was awesome, really awesome. Although I did find that Mustang really impressive and fun, in the end, it was an easy decision and I think you guys know which one I picked. Oh yeah. So it's a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, but not only a badass Rubicon Wrangler, it happens to be a Wrangler 392. That's right, the brand new V8 Wrangler, the stuff that every man dreams of. V8 Wrangler, literally the perfect setup, and I think it's going to be an epic off-roader. I went with black. Really, I actually didn't. I just kind of went with whatever was available, so they had a black one. Look at that hood, it's badass. It's got a big air scoop on it. So freaking cool, the gold tow hooks. We have the LED headlights, unlike those, but don't worry, I'm gonna fix that on the six by six. Guys have been swapping V8s into Jeeps for a very long time, so it's clearly what people want. Like the people, we want more V8s, right? Everyone knows that. And Fiat Chrysler Automotive was like, well, if that's what they want, give them more. So they stuffed a giant V8 into a Wrangler. There she is in all of her glory, boys, a 392 cubic inch V8 producing an absolutely mind-blowing, I don't, I don't think anyone's really ready for it, mind-blowing 470 horsepower in a Jeep Wrangler, a very light, very small little truck SUV thing, 470 horsepower. Now, it's not as crazy as like a Hellcat swapped one, but to be honest, I I really don't think you need 700 in a Wrangler. I think 470 is a lot. I can't believe it either. I was thinking for the Wrangler, okay, they'll tone it down a little bit. I'm sure they'll have to do a few things to make sure it can off-road. That will cut the power, but no, you know, 470. I was thinking maybe 400, no, 470, 470 horsepower. To put that in perspective, that is like roughly the same power as a C8 Corvette. Like I'm in a Jeep, has the same power as a new Corvette. My apologies if I'm sweating like an absolute hog. It is 90 something degrees out and uh, you know, I try not to have the AC blasting for the audio quality. Oh my God. Got the soft off-road suspension. So you floor it and uh, the front end comes up and you fly backwards. It's just, man, it's, it's awesome. It, it is truly awesome. I love it. Now it was expensive. We're talking like 75-ish grand for a Jeep, um, but that's the market on Wranglers. Like any Jeep person will tell you, they are not cheap. <laughs> they just aren't. And the demand is is crazy for them. Like they never really lose value. It's got, you know, the locking diffs. You can see your little button down there. Um, you know, you can even see it's got a different knob on it than the 6x6 has there for the four wheel drive. It's got every possible option fully loaded. You can see the nice embroidery on the seats. Uh, it's got a great sound system like this. I think this is as loaded as you can possibly get a Wrangler with the biggest, best engine option. Um, so it's got it all. When I took the 6x6 to Roush Creek. That was what did it for me. I was like, man, I really missed doing this. I missed off-roading and I want to build a real off-road rig. The, the Blazer is very cool, but it's it would require a lot of work to get that thing to be a real off-roader. Like I, I take it up there. I have fun because I just floor it everywhere <laughs> and it is a blast. Like, don't get me wrong. It is, but I want something that I can really go over some real obstacles with like actual rock crawling, big rock trails. And I just can't do that with the Blazer and you know, building it would be difficult. Whereas this, like I can just you can go buy this and it's essentially ready. Like it's ready to go. The goal is to go big though, like real big. I'm looking, I'm shooting for 40s on it and I have never done 40s on a build before. Even like a big diesel truck, I've never done 40s. That giant high country we did, that had 38s on it. So we're talking bigger than that and it's gonna be a small Jeep. So it should be very, very fun and very capable. So I'm looking forward to it. A lot of off-roading this summer. I hope you guys are. The last video did great. Now. That maybe a lot of that was because it was a six by six going off road. I think you guys will like it. I know I love off roading, so I'm hyped. I am genuinely hyped for it, and I think this is perfect. A VA Jeep. You know, I had to get. I wanted a Wrangler Rubicon, 
but I knew for you guys and for me, like I knew I had to get the cool option, the cool engine option, and it's brand new, you know, it just came out, 392. So uh, what better way to test it? <laughs> My God. <laughs> we are in a Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> And it's stock with a warranty. You know, like I could do an engine swap and a Jeep and a lot of other stuff, but I don't have to worry about this. It's bone stock with the V8. It's got everything I want. And if it breaks, guess where I'm going? I'm not going to my own garage. I'm going to the dealership and they're gonna fix it for free. Like you can't, you can't beat that. I mentioned it briefly, but being the Rubicon, it's got all the good off-roading stuff that you really want if you're gonna get real with the off-roading. It's got the lockers front and rear. Um, I don't know what Off-Road Plus does, but literally you can press a button and it disconnects your sway bar. So that's like super cool. It's an electronic disconnect for the sway bar, which gives you a lot more articulation um, for the axle, which I think is just, I mean, that's incredible. They include that. I don't even know how that works. A little aux switch is there. If you add anything to it, like lighting or maybe, you know, any like an air locker or something, if you were going to go that crazy, you can put it on the switch. But yeah, it's a very, very cool fully loaded Jeep. It better be, it better be loaded for 80 grand after sales tax and all that, you know, it better, um, it better have it all. But yeah, I think, um, you know, for the capability, if you're going to actually off road it, it's a good deal. Speaking of awesome Jeeps, we are at the three. Once again, we are at the three week mark for the Jeep Gladiator six by six giveaway. Don't forget to get entered so that you can have your own beast of an off-roader or 80 grand cash. You can buy a 392, whatever you, it's life changing either way. It's a huge opportunity. Every winner is like you. They all say the same thing. They say, well, I never win anything and I can't believe you're calling me. And it's true. You know, we, we're going to call you and tell you that you won that. It's insane. It really is insane what we're doing. We're changing lives. It's a win-win for everybody. So yeah, grab some cool merch, grab some entries and good luck. If you enjoyed this upload, give it a thumbs up. Take care. Have a great night. I'll see you in the next one. I don't know how much more this thing can take. <laughs> it's getting a little bit rough. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That sounded good. That's some heat. That was some heat. That looked really good. Oh yeah. Better eat. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, where am I putting this thing? <laughs> the whole back end just flew up. <laughs>